Ultramafic rocks and their serpentinite alteration products can produce gossans with spectacular boxworks. If you want to learn to identify them, then this is the video for you. I'm Nick Tate, and this is Fieldcraft for Geologists. This is the headline version for YouTube. If you want the detail on each video, go to the link below in the description. It'll only cost you a few bucks, and once you're signed up, you'll get all the videos that are already there, plus anything new that I shoot as I find interesting things in the field. They sit on top of ultramafic rocks or sometimes serpentinites that are altered ultramafic rocks and they look pretty good. They're a nice dark black brown colour and they've got lots of holes in them but those holes are after leached serpentine minerals and carbonate altered serpentine minerals usually not sulphide. They often have these big open frameworks with walls of very fine silica and lots of brown iron staining inside. Here's an example here that's really typical of the kind of texture you find in gossans after serpentine minerals and ultramafic rocks. Lots of big open cavities with boxworks that are formed by frameworks of fine grained even chalcedonic silica and holes in the middle that are made from leaching of carbonate altered serpentine minerals. You can see some of these areas here that are almost massive silica and in some cases the gossans will be just massive fine grained silica with a bit of iron staining on them. All of the original rocks, even the serpentine minerals, are completely gone. Of course the definitive guide is to find a little remnant of serpentinite or ultramafic rock. It might be a dunite or pyroxenite or something else similar. And this piece here is a piece of serpentinite and the surrounding rock is all altered to silica and looks like a gossan but the serpentinites are usually a pale grey green colour with a smooth surface and sometimes they develop this kind of a scallop texture very like limestone and that happens when they get carbonate altered. You can try to put some acid on that but usually it won't fizz because there's so much magnesium in these rocks that the resulting carbonates are not reactive to acid. Now one of the clues you can use to guess that this might be after an ultramafic rock if you're in Australia is that thing. Grass trees, species of xanthorrhea. They just love the chemistry of soils that develop on top of ultramafic rocks. If you see lots of grass trees growing near a nice looking gossan like this, there's a good chance it's sitting on top of an ultramafic rock.